And the countdown is on. Who will take over as the new Greenville County Sheriff? And tonight, the five registered Republican candidates faced off in a debate hosted by First Monday. They were asked a series of questions, everything from details on the platforms they're running on to their background and experience. And all of tonight's questions came from the public. Many of those questions extremely detailed. Fox Carolina's Kayla Convoy was there joining us live now with how it all went down. Yeah, that's exactly right. Those five that were in there earlier today did use their time to talk about multiple different points. Happened right in through those doors. That's where it all happened and where there was also a lot of talk about former Sheriff Will Lewis, the public who came up with those questions, as you mentioned, saying over and over they want to make sure they get the right person in this special election. All eyes on these five candidates as the special election draws near. They each stood side by side, their order randomly selected, questions firing at them. And time and time again, the answers kept going back to morals and how things would be handled differently. So the candidates took the time to explain what they would focus on during their first 30 days in office. Tommy Smith saying he would look at manpower. And make sure that every employee of the sheriff's office is in the place that best serves the citizens of this county. Uh, we hear horror stories all the time about call times, especially in the northern and southern end of the county. So his goal is to reduce those times. It's also one of Robert Watley's main focuses. I've got a comprehensive pay plan. I'd like to, to show to county council so that they can start looking at something that's a little more permanent as opposed to the piecemeal pay plan we go through each year right now. Watley says the pay plan would go towards increasing uniform patrol by 20 percent. Hobart Lewis, on the other hand, says he'd focus on making sure the community knows his morals first. I would be right back out in this community making sure you knew who I was uh, and who would be serving as your sheriff. And manpower is certainly an issue. We have the manpower at the sheriff's office. We don't have those positions filled. Uh, and there's a long way to go for that with those 40 or so open positions. Until they can get those filled, he told those in the audience he'd move and shift people around to get more officers on the street. Darius Hall says he agrees manpower is key, but first his focus would be to boost morale. We cannot forget that we got to restore the culture. No matter how many people you put out on the road, if we don't have a good command culture and leader, we're just going to have people wandering around aimlessly. So I'm going to restore the culture so that we can gain trust from the community. Earlier in the debate, there was also talk about a citizens advisory committee and candidate Sean Zuzowski says he believes that could be a tool that would help restore the public's faith in the sheriff's office. As long as it's formed in a in a manner that is conducive to a, improving dialogue with the community, increasing the work uh, between the community and the law enforcement agency, uh, as long as it doesn't become, as, as you described, just a political appointment. A lot of people really fired up. That room was completely full, and all of those candidates did mention they're going to keep campaigning hard until this special election on January 7th. Reporting live in Greenville County, Kayla Convoy, Fox Carolina, at the 10 o'clock news. Now, Kayla, thank you. And one of the candidates who was not on stage tonight is Paul Guy. He is the only Democrat running for the office. The primary set for January 7th ahead of that special election, which is March 10th. We are in for 